Hey, welcome back to my channel. I have two ways for you to add a division sign into PowerPoint when creating an equation. Here we are in PowerPoint. My name is Michelle and I'm with MathBell where I share strategies, ideas, tips, and more for elementary math teachers and parents. And I was creating some division posters for a product in my store and I was thinking about how some people don't know how to add a division sign into an equation using PowerPoint. So here are those two ways. I have this poster here where I need to write this fraction as an expression. So I wanna insert a division symbol right here between five and eight. The first way is to use the insert tab in PowerPoint. So I'm gonna go up to the ribbon and go over to insert and go all the way over to symbol and look for a division symbol. Now I have these already in my frequently used symbols as well as my favorite symbols. Let me show you how to place it there. So I'm gonna go at to the top here where it has that little menu button icon and I'm going to look for the math symbols tab over on the left side and I'm going to find the symbol that I need which is the division sign, click on that. Right now it's a favorite, let me remove that so it's not there. Again, you would choose, I can choose the multiplication symbol, I can choose the infinity symbol and add to my favorite. Let me choose the division sign and add it back to my favorites. So now I'm gonna go back over to my menu on the left, click on favorites, and my division sign is there as well as that infinity symbol that I added in. So once it's there, we're gonna go back up to the icon at the top of this menu. So it goes back to just seeing the emojis and the symbols, and I'm gonna find my division sign, and it inserts right into my expression where I have my cursor. The next way that we can add in a division sign is to use a shortcut on our keyboard. Now I'm using a Mac keyboard and for visual purposes, I have this online accessibility keyboard to show you what I'm doing. So near the space bar, you have two keys on the left and right. Those are your command keys. And next to those are your option key or alt key. So what you wanna do is hold down your option key and then click on the question mark and your division sign will be inserted. So let me go back here to my expression, delete that, and then show you how it can I can insert it back in. So again, if you want to insert the division sign, hold down your option key and then click on the question mark and you will have a division sign inserted into your expression or equation. 